Hi all, welcome back to another video. Today we will be discussing about recruitment analysis with Odo 16 recruitment module. All companies provide a reporting management system to understand their turnover and handle the overall efficiency with proper planning and analysis. With this proper planning, all business leads their role in performing what to do, when to do and how to do it shall be promoted. Odo 16 recruitment module helps you in managing and creating the market plans, helping you understand your current statistics, consequences, business trends and revenue. Now let's open the recruitment module. This is the recruitment module. Now here we have the reporting menu. We'll open the rep reporting menu. Inside reporting you have recruitment analysis, source analysis, time and stage analysis and team performance. First, let's open the recruitment analysis. Now, once you open it, you can see a graphical representation where you have the source here. Okay, the source and people who came through that source, how many people, how many such people are hired, how many are in progress and all can be seen here. Okay, so a person who have come through the medium or the source Facebook, that person is hired, only one is hired and the orange represents the people who are in progress state okay here you have the sources underneath and this is the undefined portion now you have filters also here right you have the uh, filter option to provide the start date and if you want to add any custom filter you can do that here we have group by that is to group by state job position application name sources medium company and if you want you can add custom group as well now under favorites, you have save current search, link menu in spreadsheet and insert view in article, insert link in article, which is a new thing because we know the knowledge module, which is the new module in Odoo. Now if you want to add a view or add this view to, to an article inside the knowledge, you can do that. Click on that, open the article which you want. Now this is the article. Here you have inserted that view. Okay. Let's go back. Same way, you, if you want to add a link to this page, you can do that also by using the insert link in article. Now here, we have different graphical representation like line chart and pie chart. Now, talking about line chart, you have the option to put that in a stack view, accumulative view and also sort it in descending and ascending order. Okay. Now, in case of bar chart also, you have the same option, which is to stack it, okay, and have descending and ascending view. Now, here you have another view also, which is the pivot view. view pivot view of the recruitment analysis, where you have the uh, job positions, okay, and the applicants hired and refused ones. The count is given here, okay. Now, if you want to flip the axis, you can do that. Okay. And if you want to expand all, currently everything is expanded, you can do that. And if you want to download this in XLSX, you can do that from here. Here also we have the very same filters which you have seen before. Okay. Now, something which is new is that insert in spreadsheet. Just click on insert in spreadsheet, choose a spreadsheet, confirm it. You can see this table has come inside the spreadsheet. Let's go back. Here, uh, let's take the graphical view itself. And here we have the measures out of which you can choose. Okay, if it's an applicant, hired ones only, hired by referral, hired ratio, meetings, refused, has referral, everything. Okay. So these are the things which comes under recruitment analysis, a graphical analysis of the recruitment. Okay. Next we have the source analysis. Okay. You know what are the sources? Sources are like Facebook, LinkedIn. Okay. All those social medias through which people let to know about the recruitment and apply for it. And then they have been hired. Okay. So this is the source analysis. You can see the sources here. Okay. This is the very same thing which we've seen right now. Here also we have the pivot and the graphical view. So these are the graphical views, the pie chart. You can insert in the spreadsheet, you have the measures also, which is very similar or exactly what we've seen in the recruitment analysis. 
Now, if you go in time and stage analysis, you can see how much time did uh, an application stay in a stage. So here you can see uh, for the job consultant in initial qualification, uh, it has been there in two, two days and all. The count, the total count can be seen here. Okay. The initial qualification, first interview, second interview and contract proposal. These are different stages. So this shows the time in stage. Okay. This is an analysis of the time in stage. Now here you have measures. You have the insert and spreadsheet option. And you can access flip your expand all and also download it to Excel SX. Here also you have the graphical view. Okay. So this is the graphical view. This is the line chart. Okay. Which shows different sources and also you know day in stage. Now we have the pie chart of that. See, this is the pie chart. In each color, what each color represents is given at the top. And here we have the bar chart. Okay. This can be sorted. Now you have filter here, which is same as the filter which we saw in the recruitment analysis. And last, we have team performance. The analysis of team performances. So this is like blue color represents in progress and orange color represents hired. And this is of two per people which are marked demo and Michelle admin. Their performance is given below. So for Michelle admin, he has um, 11 in progress and one hired. And for Mark demo, he has four in progress and one hired. Okay. So here also we have line chart, bar chart, also the pivot view. Okay. So these are the main things which comes under the recruitment analysis or simply the reporting section of the recruitment module. So I hope it's clear for you all. That's all for today's video. Thank you.